Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Zelp and today we're continuing the journey of Temtem. Uh, I do want to point out that lately it's the festive season so there's a lot of fireworks going on and there is hardly any good time to be recording because if I record at the afternoon there might be lots of cars. If I record at night there's lots of fireworks. So if suddenly there's a huge noise I hope you'll forgive me for that. So just a quick update. I walked from where I was which is Zadar all the way to Brickaldemar. Over there we meet Professor's friend Sophia, which is also the dojo leader for Aris Sola. She's a very nice NPC and she also showed us around Brickaldemar, in which one of the shops has a guy called Louis. And there you can get something called a Temerson vial. It's basically a portable temporum or Pokemon setter that you can only use once anywhere you want. Now it is also over here at Brickaldemar where I did one of the side quests that I want to share with you guys. I feel like the quest in Temtem is more interactive and something that may actually stay in your mind and register as memory unlike most quests that you see in other games. So in today's video we're gonna do an entire side quest. This kind of means that we'll probably not be doing any more other side quests in the future unless there's something really hard to figure out and I feel like it's worth making a video of so that I can help others figure it out as well. With that said, enjoy the video. Okay, let's get into class then. Oh wow, lockers and all. Welcome to Academia Zelp. Shouldn't you be heading to your next class? Yes, I would like to. Can you tell me where? Um, oh, no way. Not again. How could I be so dumb? Anything the matter? Ah, sorry. Didn't see you there. Yeah, well, this damn thing. I can't get it open. Uh, your locker? Exactly. I forgot the combination. Again. Again? Any clues? You get your locker combination from the reception desk. You see, they give you this slip of paper with the number on it, but I have no idea what I've done with it. Maybe they can give it, give you another copy of this. Um, why don't you do it yourself? Okay, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Phew, thanks, you're a real friend. Hi. Can I help you? I'm helping just a... Yep. Oh, don't tell me for guys coming here. Incredible. Well, I can't give I can't give you a copy because we don't have one. We have uh, to comply with Riverin fellowship data protection policies. You see, maybe he can find the paper. He must have left it somewhere. Okay, awesome. Good luck. Oh man. Hey, do you have a combination of luck? Uh, yes, please. About that. There's something that says that he can't get a copy or combination. We need to find the civil paper. Where have you last been? Ah, let me think. So, I got up, had breakfast, then went to the Temporium to get some spare temp cards, and then come straight to the camera because I was running late. So it has to be at the Temporium, I guess. Could it be at your place? Uh, then it must be at <laughs> Have you checked your pockets? Let's try the Temporium. Yes, it must have slipped from my pocket when I got to Pensun to play. Off to the Pensun then. Okay, I guess class will have to wait because this is more important. Temporum, Temporum. Okay, we need to look for Pensun. Uh oh, not you. Can I bargain hunter? Uh, I'm looking for a slip of paper. I haven't seen any. Okay. Of course you haven't. You. Ten back helper. Hey buddy. Is it your first time using a deck station? Uh yes. Uh no. Uh yes. Uh oops. I have known it. You got <laughs> in your eyes, my friend. Like you really know your ten decks. Good taming. Okay. Uh, good day. Have you ever used it before? Of course. Well then, no hard works. I wonder if there's actually anything interesting to learn. Hi there. I'm looking for a piece of paper. Hmm. Oh, you mean like one of those little slips so you get a combination for your locker? Yes. So like this one? That's it. Can I have it? 
Uh, I don't know. Whose locker is it? Mine, Joe. This. Ah, figures. He lost it again. Please, free, please. Please, I'm begging you, please. Uh, free, please. Well, you have to do me a little favor in exchange. Nah, joking. Here you go. <laughs> Phew. Got you, eh? Yes, you did. Uh, so if you're gonna... Okay. Run, run, run. I better get, like, money from this or something. Please tell me I get money from this. Is there a combination of luck? Please say yes, please. Yes, I got it. One, two. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't guess it. Okay, let's try. It opened. Saved my life, friend. Finally. Oh, here's my lunch. Thank you. I'm starving. Oh, sandwich you can keep. You take the apples. I don't like fruits anyways. So hand it over the sleep and get two vital apple. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, hi. You must be... Where's the list? Um, Zelp. Hi, take a seat and pay attention. So let's start. Who can recite all the elements? Fire, Tem Tem for me. Volunteers? Holy crazy. Uh, how does he sit down? I want to sit down too. <laughs> I did it. What did I do now? <laughs> uh, let's see. Further your training at Sophia's Dojo in Nashville. Now back to the main storyline. After trying to make your way to Eris Sola, which is the next town that has the dojo, by the time you get there, you find that Sophia is missing. She got captured by an evil organization, and you decided to go and rescue her. Upon finding her in the ruins called the Windward Fort, you find her in a cage which requires a key to unlock. From here you have to fight your way up the ruins to fight the leader of the evil organization, Balsato. Now I do like to warn you if you're playing this for your first time that there is a back to back fight between her minions and her. Which means in between you don't get to heal, you don't get to revive, you don't get to go back to uh, the temporium or use a vial. So make sure you are strong enough. Another cool tip is that at this platform, at the highest part of this ruin, you can actually find a Temtem called Banshee. And you actually need her for one of the side quests on this island as well. Now upon rescuing Sophia, Sophia sees that you have talent and decided to ask you to try and take on the dojo. And upon completing the dojo, she will give you a surfboard. And now you can find and catch water temtems and also discover a town that is across a river. But from my understanding so far, the next step to the main quest is really to go to the next island. Now I feel like the uh, first few videos is more of a playthrough. But as I learn more about temtem, I'm going to start making sort of like guides to help you guys breed the best temtem, to know more about what SV is, what TV is. So thank you again for watching this video. Don't miss the next. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye So just a little bit extra content before we end the video. I want to show you guys how to go through the dojo really quickly. So first jump down. Take the one at the north. Take the one at your left. Okay, keep moving down. Take this one. Brings you to the right. Go up and then so over here if possible you want to avoid this one so you have to time it properly okay and also avoid this one this one's gonna be a little bit harder because it's a lot faster okay and then take the third one and then come over here go up or should I say go to the right and then go up and ta-da you have reached Sophia okay so and once you're done you just have to come over here to go back out now I do want to remind you guys that every fight that you do including those in the dojo with NPCs you actually gain some in-game currency so you might want to go back in to try and seek out the other NPCs to get the currency and also whatever experience that they could provide you. So that's pretty much it for the video. Good luck.
Adiós.